If you're looking for a different way to do entry or exit tickets, or in a distance learning situation, if you're looking for a way to check in with your students, look no further than Padlet. Padlet is one of my favorite tools, and I know a lot of people have used it, but I want to talk about using it maybe in a little bit different way. And that way is, how do we bring today's culture of our students into our classroom, and then use that with them? So in a Padlet, down here in the bottom right hand corner, you know that I can click and I can title something, uh, my exit ticket for the day, right? Exit ticket for the day. And then you could have kids write, right? And they can write about their day or write about one takeaway they had for today. But there's more, even more power inside of a Padlet. And just recently they've updated that now when I create one of my sticky notes, not only can I write, but if you click on these three little ellipses right here, look at everything else we can do in a Padlet. So maybe my entry or exit ticket is going to be having kids video themselves, or maybe kids don't want to turn on their camera so they can just leave an audio recording. They can actually take a snap so they could take a selfie on how are you feeling today. Maybe we're going to check in with the well-being of our students and just say, show me a, take a, a selfie of how you're feeling today as we get started today. But here's another way that I like to use this. I like to, whenever possible, invite student culture into my classroom. And part of student culture today is animated GIFs and memes. And right inside Padlet, if I come down here to the Google search, it's gonna open up a Google search box, but you'll notice I can search for animated GIFs. So now I'm going to ask kids, how are you feeling today? And if a kid types in excited, they then get all these animated GIFs they get to choose from and they get to decide which one they want to show that expresses their feeling. Or maybe I'm going to use this as a way of saying, what animated GIFs do you think best represent the characters of the person in our story today? So many great ways to use animated GIFs or add an animated GIF into our Padlet and then tell me why you believe that animated GIF best represents this math equation. We've got to find ways to bring student culture into our classroom. And one of the ways to do that is understand that this generation communicates through GIFs and memes.